Hello everyone, this is Delisa with American Singing Studio where we're training voices for success. And today I'm gonna to be doing another reaction video on Dimash by popular demand. And before I get into it, I just wanna let you guys know, thank you guys so much for watching those first three reaction videos that I did. And even more so, thank you for all the insight and information that you guys gave. First of all, you're so respectful. You just absolutely love the music. And um, you give me so much information about these artists. And I think it's awesome that we can create a space where we can really share and just give a wealth of information to each other. So thank you. So again, today we're gonna do um, Hello. So let's see. I have not watched this. I will bring this over here soon. You guys swear I'm gonna be more blown away. I don't really know how that's possible. Those that are my thoughts going into it. Okay, strong. So first, first, can I just say, English could be, might be one of the hardest languages um, to sing. So I give him major kudos for um, singing in English, even in classical singing. I sound way better singing in French, German, and Italian than I do singing in English. Um, just because I'm always anticipating the, the consonant. Uh, which means sometimes I'm not as open and um, connected to the breath as I should be, or I'm not allowing the breath to flow as freely and I'm not as resonant as I should be. And at the case of someone who does, who English is not their first language, um, the, the problem with singing in English is that there's, um, there's rules and then there's like the thousands of instances where those rules are broken. And so unless you are a native English speaker, or you've spoken English for like 10 plus years, um, that's really hard to anticipate. Uh, so yeah, kudos to him. Let's keep going. This is pretty predictable what, what it should sound like. All right. I guess there's more. That was a different run. That, hold on. I'm going to go back for a second. I'm going to go back. Was that 150? That was not a regular run. That was very Eastern. That was interesting. That was not American. He sounds like a recording, right?
This sounds very regular to me. Aside from that East Asian run he did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Mixing it up. Come on, flute. <laughs> That's not a flute. I don't know what that is. I think it's a recorder. It's not a recorder. I don't know what it is. <laughs> There it goes. His non-Western runs. I want to learn that. Well, there it is. Now that's a run challenge for you. Okay, stop right there. Now that is a run challenge. I was actually asked the other day, and I hope you guys don't think I'm boring, but listen. I was actually asked this week, do you think that it's harder for let's say uh, an Asian person to learn American runs or for an American person to learn, learn Asian. Well, actually he was saying Arabic. So I was just like, just based on technique alone and this, like learning a totally different scale, I would have to think Americans would have a harder time learning an Arabic run or Asian runs, like what Indian runs and things like that because they go by quarter tones like their scales are so different um but as far as like musicality and feel and vibe I can see how they would have a problem adopting our runs because I think compared to theirs are so much simpler I think that would be a really cool run challenge that little run pass not little it was a big run passage um obviously in a key that everyone could do like, I would want to learn that because I think it's really cool to tune your ear to like that style. I don't want to call it Arabic or I mean, it must be Asian. Um, I'm sure somebody might have insight in the comment section, but that is hard. That is so difficult. Um, yeah, I mean, I know that he can hit the high notes. So at this point, you know, I feel like what is going to like make, wow me is the the musicality and the 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 aural skills R O A U R A L the aural skills um and he has them this is awesome I don't know how that doesn't hurt. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Yeah, I think I said everything I wanted to say. Like, I think this video kind of, the, the first video I saw, um, for me anyway, really showcased his range, right? And his um, dexterity. Uh, and I feel like this video obviously shows his range and dexterity, but also adds in another element of 
um, musical difficulty. You know, just musical difficulty. Regardless of what key he sang that and what he did was difficult. So um, there's that. And then the fact that um, he had it in, in, in the key that, that again added another layer of difficulty um because he was he was singing those you know e5s f5s g5 like they were nothing higher so he's definitely just such a talented guy for sure for sure so anyway um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really loved that song he did a beautiful job i don't think he over sang it um I don't think he undersang it. I also like that he um, inserted his culture and his language as a way to connect with the audience. You know, a lot of the world does know Lionel Richie, but there's nothing like hearing a song in your own language. And so I thought that was beautiful that he that he did that and added those little elements that um, would allow his audience to better relate to the song and have a better appreciation for that. For his performance so buen trabajo good job i will see you guys next time please like comment subscribe and share Talk to you soon.